Hello, my name is Kat Kirby and I'm an art therapist. I'm also a soul collage facilitator and a soul collage trainer and I want to share with you how these two parts of my life came together a few years ago and how the intersection of art therapy and soul collage continue to be a major part of my life. This story could be your story too. Back in early 2006, I was invited to a luncheon in San Diego. The theme of this luncheon was about the treatment of eating disorders. As part of the networking process, we all shared our business cards with one another at our table. Most of the cards were from psychologists, psychiatrists, social workers, and counselors, and, and then in the middle of those, my brightly colored business card for being an art therapist. Someone immediately asked me, do you do soul collage? Now, of all the questions in the world that I could have been asked about my business card, why that one? I guess my card really clicked something for this person. What was this soul collage anyway? I asked her. She said she didn't know much about it, just that a friend of hers did it and my card kind of looked like it. So, of course, I was intrigued. I almost couldn't wait for the lunch to be over because I wanted to get on my computer and Google soul collage. Ah. If only I had had my iPhone back then, I could have found out right away. Anyway, I stayed focused for the lecture and the PowerPoint presentation about new treatments for eating disorders and headed home to Google this intriguing thing called Soul Collage. And I found Soul Collage on the computer right away and I was almost instantly hooked. And there was information about the founder of the process, Sina Frost, who created this process by combining her passions for creativity, spirituality, and psychology. I looked for workshops in my area, and what did I find? No workshops in San Diego. No trained facilitators in my area. How was I going to try this amazing collage card making technique? Aha, I read there was to be a soul collage facilitator training in a few weeks up in Santa Cruz. So that did it. I bought Sina's book about soul collage I registered for the training, I made a couple of cards, and I was on my way. I attended the training, which was held in a wonderful off-the-grid home and retreat center on top of a mountain near Santa Cruz. Our group included therapists, coaches, teachers, dancers, healers, all kinds of folks from all walks of life, all brought together because they wanted to learn more about soul collage and about using this process both for themselves and with others. When I first met Sina Frost, I felt I had met a national treasure. Sina has the most expressive, sweet, crinkly eyes, the most gentle presence. I felt like she was what I imagined my archetypal good mother would look like, and I couldn't wait to learn from her, this soft-spoken, wise woman. Sina talked about how soul collage originated in a course she took with Jean Houston in the late 80s and continued evolving as she used it in her own psychotherapy work. She was interested in world myths and archetypal psychology and studying various spiritual paths. Sina likes to say that soul collage is the magical mix of image, imagination, and intuition. The weekend facilitator training was everything I hoped for and more, and I wish I had more time to describe it and share it with you here, but suffice it to say that when I was finished with the training, I felt like I was going to explode with ideas about how to use it with my art therapy work. I know what a profound impact Soul Collage has had and continues to have in my life and in my clients' and workshop participants' lives. You, like me, were probably attracted to this field of art therapy because of the healing power of creating art. I want to share with you how you might find a place for Soul Collage in your art therapy work how you might just put another tool in your expanding toolbox. Whether you are an art therapy student, a registered art therapist, or someone who uses the arts in their healing work, soul collage is a process that allows and encourages creativity and self-expression and understanding in a nice, gentle way. One thing soul collage brings is an elegant, simple framework for allowing expression to find its personal meaning. While many collages show many energies, feelings, and thoughts, each soul collage card depicts just one energy that the person is expressing. Each energy is considered a guide or ally or challenger for the client. As more cards are made, more parts of the multidimensional person are revealed. The growing deck of soul collage cards becomes the multidimensional collage. 
One goal of art therapy is to facilitate the creation of a useful, tangible, visual product by the client, although in general art therapy is more about the process than the product. Our sole collage deck is a concrete and portable tool for personal guidance that can be used on an ongoing basis. It is also a creation that can be appreciated by others. Consulting soul collage cards is not about fortune telling or predicting the future. It is about helping us access our own intuition, come to a decision about an important life question, or find a way through a difficult time. You may be aware of other art therapists who use the structure of doing readings, including Raleigh Silver and Deborah Koff Chapin, whose soul cards, no relation to soul collage, are beautiful works of touch drawing art each with a mysterious and compelling image. Healing is deep work, and the shadow has a very strong presence. In both art therapy and soul collage, we encourage people to allow their shadow parts to come forward. We use the phrase, I am one who, and hear these wounded parts of ourselves. We give them back their voice. And one can visually see that any one voice is not the whole story. We have many cards. Many messages come from even one card at different times. Ever since I returned from my facilitator training back in 2006, I have held Introduction to Soul Collage workshops and monthly Soul Collage open studios where once people learn the process, they come to make cards and do readings. These are not necessarily my art therapy clients, although they do find the work to be tremendously healing and important in their personal growth. Each month, different people show up, but there is a core group who come regularly, and they clearly get a lot out of the sessions. So many of the participants in my groups have gone on to do the facilitator trainings themselves, and they still come to the groups for that sense of community and support. That feeling of support and acceptance is so important and is a key factor in successful art therapy groups as well as soul collage groups. Many people feel successful when creating soul collage cards, as it is a very simple process using just images, scissors, and glue. This is a very good example of one of the goals of art therapy, to offer an art activity in which a client can succeed. As Edith Kramer wrote back in 1959, quote, this process of self-discovery and self-acceptance through art is the core of art therapy, end quote. Thanks so much for listening. 